Hey folks, glad you came back. Stop in and check out this video. Today we are going to be reviewing a gun. I think I've reviewed it before, uh, but I haven't reviewed it in its current configuration. Uh, I sent this gun off to Monsoon Tactical and I had the Gingus comp cut into the slide and barrel. Uh, I'm gonna take this thing out to the range and I'm going to shoot it a little bit, and when we come back, we'll talk about what I like and don't like about it. Let's start slow with a build drill. Let's do it again and pick up the speed just a little bit. Two oh five. Two oh five. Let's try it again. Let's try to pick it up just a little more. Missed my first shot. Try it again. 186. Pretty good time. Missed my first shot. All right. 25 yards. See what we can do. My favorite STI or staccato right here. Genghis Khan. Thing is amazing. as y'all can see this gun is a pretty good shooter out on the range uh doing the build drill uh it was quick with the build drill shooting at 25 yards it was good uh rapid fire the uh, gun shoots flat uh, no it's not as flat as a staccato xc and it never will be it's not built for that this is built to be a carry gun but i can say with this monsoon uh tactical uh, Genghis comp cut into the, the barrel and slide, man, this is probably the softest shooting uh, carry gun that I've ever shot. This thing is phenomenal. Now, I'll let it be known, I'm a huge fan of the 2011s. I'm a little biased towards 2011s. I do like Glocks as well, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased towards 2011s. But when you add this comp, into the uh, equation, this thing is a shooter. As you can see, they uh, refinished my slide in a sniper gray Cerakote. Um, you can see they cut the port into the barrel and a corresponding cut into the slide. Now, when they cut that port into the barrel, they also back ream it. Why is that important? If you still have the lands and grooves in the barrel past the comp with a missing up here, you can have some problems with your accuracy. Uh, Monsoon Tactical figured that out and in their Genghis comp, I don't know about their other ones, but I can tell you in their Genghis comp, they back ream uh, that barrel so there is no more lands and grooves inside the barrel past the comp. Uh, there has been some questions come up on um, YouTube and some different places about uh, accuracy loss uh, from the Monsoon Tactical uh, ports. I noticed none. I noticed none. Uh, I remounted my uh, Trigicon RMR on here, and when I did, I took it out to the range, and I only had to adjust it just a little bit, and I was right back on target. 
I noticed no accuracy loss with this setup. Uh, even out to, I think I shot it out to 25 yards today. Uh, I wasn't really shooting for accuracy, but uh, yeah, I mean, this little gun at 25 yards, as long as you halfway do your job, it's going to hit what you're hit, what you're aiming at. But uh, this little setup here is phenomenal. Uh, would this make a good carry gun? Yeah, this would make a phenomenal carry gun. Uh, I've got a couple of holsters that I made for it and, uh, it carries pretty good. It actually carries best in my opinion in the appendix carry position, uh, because when I carry it in the four or five o'clock position, the RMR tends to want to print through my t-shirt. But if I'll carry it up front, the RMR is flat against my stomach and it doesn't print. I don't have a problem with it there. Uh, you can see I did a few modifications to it. Uh, other than the Genghis comp, I put a TLR7 on it. I put a short trigger in it, and I did an EGW thumb safety. I also stippled the grip because uh, STI or Staccato doesn't offer this texture on their C2s from the factory, at least not when I bought this one. Uh, so I went ahead and stippled it myself and it turned out, it turned out great. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about this gun other than it's freaking phenomenal. Uh, I love it. I've shot, I've got several thousand rounds through it now, probably two or 3000 through it. And I've never had a failure out of it. Not ammo related, not magazine related, not shooter induced. It's run every single thing I put through it. And I put some junk ammo through this. Uh, because sometimes it's hard here lately to find good ammo. I put Tula ammo through this, and I, ew, I hate Tula ammo, but I put it through this, and it ran it just fine. Um, Tula's really dirty, by the way. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I will say I should keep up on the uh, maintenance of this gun. It's a little dirty. Uh, I haven't cleaned it in probably 800 to 1,000 rounds. Uh, but even with that, it still runs great. I'm not a proponent of uh, running your guns long periods in between cleaning, but sometimes I do, and uh, I'm guilty just like everybody else. But uh, this one probably has 800 to 1,000 rounds on it, and I hadn't cleaned it. You can see the barrel hood's pretty dirty. But uh, this is a great gun. Uh, yes, it's expensive. I, th I can't remember what I paid for this gun. I want to say it's somewhere around twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars uh and then to add the genghis point to it it was like three hundred dollars plus shipping uh which is actually not that bad uh and the turnaround was quick uh they when i when i purchased the uh the work uh, they told me to hang on to the gun until they were ready for it when they were ready for it they gave me 10 days to get it there which is reasonable uh i shipped it and within I want to say two or three weeks, it was back at my door waiting on me. So, uh, I mean, that's that's not bad. It's really not bad. Um, the, the quality of work has been excellent. Uh, I have no complaints there. It actually appears to be factory when you uh, look at it. There is still enough of the barrel up front for the slide to lock up nice and tight up front because this is where your, your front lock up is up here. Uh, and then your rear lockup, of course, is on the uh, barrel, the lower barrel lugs and the slide stop pin. But the gun still locks up nice and tight. There's no movement front or back. Um, I, I just can't say enough good about this gun. Uh, if you like the review, give me a, a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time.